Hey guys, so today I'm going to teach you how to make a fitting tube for your dinosaur. So this is what I have. This is Grim and this is Gear. Um, Grim is the bone one. I think you can only get these at Walmart. These are Walmart exclusive. Um, I do want to stress that these are electronics and water and any liquid does not mix with electronics. So, yeah. Um... I just thought this would be kind of cool for somebody who likes dinosaurs and has a feeding tube um, or nasal gastric tube, if you will. Um, and you can see I just kind of wedged it in his nose and then I taped it right here with the band-aid and then um, okay, my cat's in my bathroom with me. <laughs> So, as you can see, I taped it in the back here. I taped it twice so that it wouldn't come off. My cat wants to go out. So that it wouldn't come off and it wouldn't dangle a lot. So, this is Mr. Grimm. And you can see why I named him Grimm. He is the Doom by Untamed, in case you are wondering. Okay, so the materials you're going to need. You're going to need a clean catheter. This is relatively, probably inexpensive. Um, I think I paid maybe like 10 bucks for a pack of these for like pack of like catheters that I was going to use for a doll so I have a clean one here they were never really used for anything other than water and props they weren't used for anything other than water and props <laughs> and then you're going to need two of these little butterfly band-aids these are just some leftover band-aids that I found in this little first aid kit um and luckily I have I thought I had some but I guess I don't. So instead of those, I guess you can use two big band-aids or a big one and a piece of tape or even two of these small little circular ones. Ideally, these are the ones you want to use. But I'm just going to use for the sake of this video, I'm just going to use these little dot band-aids because I'm going to be taping it anyway. I do want to stress again that these are electronics and electronics and water don't mix this is all pretend play i just figured this would be cute and cool for somebody who has a child who, or a family member who likes the untamed but they have a feeding tube and they kind of want something to relate to <sighs> okay oh and you're gonna need tape i have scotch tape that's just the brand that i'm using so yeah so what you're going to do, and again, you're not going to use these for liquid use. So you're going to pick your side that you want for this to go in. And then you're just going to put it in there like so. I may have to cut this. And these can be cut down to size as well. So you're just going to kind of wedge that in there. And then it's going to come around and it's going to hang down. And here's where your band-aids come into play. It shouldn't come out. Okay, so, like I said, it's going to come down and under this little notch for the eye. And you're going to tape one here. These might not stick, but hey, it's the fun of it. Just to make sure that's secure, I'm going to need a bit of tape. It's not that big. It's a bigger piece of tape. There we go. And then it's gonna come right here and tape it right here. I'm sorry you guys can't see this is a poorly done tutorial and again you're going to take another piece of tape and just kind of tape it down and there you have it a dinosaur with the feeding tube now you can also kind of curl this up like this like so and then kind of like that And then 
I'm just going to do this. There you go. You guys, you have a dinosaur with the feeding suit, and you can pretend that when your kid, niece, nephew, whatever friend is doing a feeding, you can pretend to hook them up to a feeding too. Again, don't use any electron, don't use any water with this. This is purely for fun and pretend play. So I just wanted to get that out of the way, but that's what I kind of came up with. Um, and this is removable, so if they happen to have a temporary feeding tube or nasal gastric tube then this can also be removed so i hope you like that little fun fun little tutorial tutorial sorry i'm in my pajamas but bye guys